So with the quotient rule, uh, what we want to do is we want to find the derivative of um, a function divided by another function. So it would look like this. We want the derivative of f of x over g of x. Okay, and so how we do this, um, it's a little bit different than the product rule, but along the same lines. Um, we're going to have f prime times g. Now instead of plus, it's going to be minus this time. Minus f times g prime, g prime. And this is all over g squared. Now, don't uh, like don't just take f prime divided by g prime. That's not how it is for the derivative. This you have to make sure you do it this way. Now let's do an example. Uh, let's get right into the examples. So say we have um, so we want to take the derivative of maybe oh I don't know six um, x squared over let's say um, cos of x. Right, so we'll follow this uh, this method and we'll get the answer. So first of all, we want f prime, which is going to be twelve x, twelve x times cos of x, cosine of x, minus. Um, now we're going to times f, which is six x squared, six x squared times g prime. Now g prime, uh, the derivative of cos of x is negative sine of x. So if we multiply negative sine of x here, we can change this to a uh, positive sign. So this, instead of multiplying, yeah, so there you go, so plus uh, 6x times positive sine of x. Right, I hope that made sense. The derivative of cos of x is negative sine of x, but we just brought the negative sign out here and changed this to a plus. A plus. So now this is going to be over uh, cos uh, squared of x. Um, so let's do another example. Let's say uh, so we want the derivative of mm, ln x over, um, let's say, sine of x, sine of x. Okay, so now when we differentiate this, we'll do f prime again times g. So this is the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So 1 over x times sine of x times sine of x. Now this is going to be minus, again, now this will be ln of x, right, because it's just f, not f prime, times g prime, uh, which is cos of x, times cos of x, cos of x. And this is all over g squared, which is sine squared. So this is all over uh, sine <laughs> squared x. All right. Um, and the thing to mention here, actually, I'll do this in red. Um, for when I say cos squared x or sine squared x, uh, this is here. I'll write it here, like cosine yeah, cos squared x. It's not working. This is equal to um, the cos of x. Uh, it's not working. Uh, all squared squared. There we go. Uh, same with sine of x. Uh, sine squared x is equal to, I'll write it down, uh, sine squared x is equal to sine x um, all squared. It's not equal to sine of x squared. So just make sure you know that. Um, and let's do one more example while we're here at your time. Uh, so just to uh, get you used to this again, so we want to take, let's say, the derivative of, um, let's do an easy one, let's do 3x over 2x uh, to the fourth. So this will be equal to, well, f prime is just going to be 3 times g is times 2x to the fourth 
minus 3x, that's just our f, times g prime, which is 8x. 8x all over 2x to the 4th squared, so that's the same as 2x to the 8th. And then we could, uh, we could just rewrite this as uh, 6x, 6x to the 4th. Um, minus 24x squared all over 2x to the 8th. And then we could pull out some x's and 2's, but we'll just leave it at that. Uh, the point is just to make sure you understand that this here, the quotient rule, um, and how it works.